Hi all, this is Once a Future Gamer and welcome back to the playthrough of Pokemon Source. This is episode 22. So last time we got away from the Sierra Mafia, we fought through the hideout and rescued... What was the girl's name? Valora. And we also got a cool ability. We got the ability to soar in the sky through the help of... Latias. Latios, Latios, I can never tell that part. No. No, Jaro Town I'm looking for. No, stop asking me that. Yes, I want to go to Jaro Town, so we're going to confront the Howie for Hell. We look alright, actually. well and good. I think we've done everything that we can reasonably expect to do, so... Oh, where are we meant to go? I don't know, is it through here? I'm sure there was something in this place. Who pests in ruins, that's it! That's it, that's where we need to go. There's Valora, there's Dad, there's uh, Professor Ivo. I don't get planned to kid get kidnapped by Ciara again, I think you'll find. So, yeah. That's the plan, and I'm going to stick to it. Helicopters, eh? Do this thing. I presume we're going to have to confront our mother at some point. Ooh. Okay, let's fight. Fight me, bro. Fight me, guard, bro. Come at me. See, wait, let me give it to, See, let me see what you got. Bastard on. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay, bastard on. That's. That's something. Yeah, he does no earthquake. I reckon we could survive an earthquake from a bastard on. It's not. It's not exactly. Uh, it's not exactly dangerous. It's tanky, but it's not. It's not going to inflict a lot of damage. Come on! Yeah! One hit wonder! Rampardo! It's going to Venusaur. See, Rampardos can hit like a tray. That was the thing with the Sinnoh fossils. One were really, really defensively strong in Shield on and Bastard, and one was offensively strong in Cranidos and Ramparados. What am I doing a challenge with Cranido with Cranidos and Shield on at some point? I think that could be well worth it. Let's see if we get that now, hope. Take that, Ciara Grunt, if that is your real name. I don't think it pretty is actually, to be honest, but... In fact, because, it's low, because she's lowest level, let's put Lux Ray up top. Let's put Lux Ray up top and hope that no, they don't have any ground types. Because Luxray would probably go down very unpleasantly. We can face an Alakazam. We can beat an Alakazam. That's not a problem. He's probably going to outspeed us. He's probably going to hit us really hard with a psychic attack. But I reckon we can survive it. It's not going to do a lot to an Alakazam, that. That's not good.
I don't see substitute in uh, casual playthroughs. I, said, I imagine it's quite useful in competitive games, but... Oh yeah, 56. Like I said, I don't do competitive, so it's not... Nah. See, Discharge is useful, but... Not really on a looks ray. The specials not that might get more use out of it than Thunderfan. I might get more use out of it. I've got for face off against Bronzong. I think it's, I still think it might be Luxray, you know, to be honest. I think it's a particularly good choice, but it's better than nothing. Better than Venusaur. I mean, it's, I think it's probably it's gonna have Levitate probably, so. I bet it does half. That was my guess, and I think it was a good guess. We've got the issue with Bronze on with the same one that you have with Rampardo, so it's very, well, not Rampardo, it's Bastido, it's very, very defensive. We were close, that psychic is it? Going to Greninja. Somebody's uh, feeling a little um, left like that. Oh, I called, I called bull on that. I didn't know dark types were affected by future sight. It's still not the worst thing that could exactly happen there. I should have bought myself some healing items before I came up here. That might have been a really good idea. I used quite a lot of them in the previous bits. In fact, I am probably going to peg it back down the mountain and uh, get some healing items. So, I'll join you again shortly. Okay, we're back. So let's have a look around and see where else we can go. You might guess by the fact that these grunts aren't attacking me, I already did fight them off screen. So we've got a way in there. Let's see where this brings me. Ooh! TM! Hey all. Bab. I didn't need that TM. I couldn't live without that TM. I get no sort of benefit from that TM. So let's go this way then. We have. Way, way to go. Let's see what's down here. Another Ooh, is it? Oh, rare candy, eh? Come on, Pokemon, I've got levels off screen. So, let's see where that takes me. I don't know how much this game's left. I mean, there is a wild area here, so I mean, I think there might be, well be some quite considerable post game, but. We'll have to see. Why don't you go back to the entrance? Buddy, beat it. That's the polite way they're saying that, and so... I'm going to treat it as such. Go for, bra go for Brave Bird. Yawn's not a particularly good thing to get hit by, but... We'll go for the yeah, 
Brave Bird should knock it out. I think it will. Is it gonna? Yeah, down it goes. Crush Dead Cat. That was good. Double edge. No. I've got enough. It's not better than return, so. Umbreon. I think best option for Umbreon would be Lucario. Spot the Smash Bros announcer. Go for an Aura Sphere and see what it does. It probably won't knock it out because Umbreon is quite defensively tanky from what I remember, so. We'll see, survive. Well, Mr. Umbreon, you've done mean look on me. I'm going to point out to you, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Bye-bye. Sylveon. Still a good, for a good option, really, because... Oh, look, at Sil look at Sylveon's Gen 3 sprite, Media Mash it. Is this going to KO? I think it might. Oh yeah. Take it home the V. V for victory. You mess with the bull, you're going to get the horns. What are you doing here? Get out of here now. No! Come on. First ring, eh? That's a very limp animation for close combat, but... Oh, nuts, it survived. Oh, crap. I'm about to get this stuffing beating out of my bird. Oh, it's alright, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Now, the question is, are we going to outspeed on the next... Oh, it's alright. We can hit it, we can beat it at his own leisure. We'll just beat it with a couple of returns and uh, see how that takes us. What sort of damage is this going to do? Let's go for another close combat and lay it out. I think it might be an idea to get Star Raptor out of here because she's going to get the absolute Better. Definitely getting Star Raptor out of here. So, back into Lucario. I think Meteor Mash. I could use Fire Punch, but Meteor Mash is Stab after all. There's no guarantee Fire Punch would kill it, but Meteor Mash should. 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 It does. Hallelujah! Slime. Yeah. I was, I'm always worried using Meteor Mash. I'm always worried there's that risk that it's going to miss. It's why if given a choice, I'd probably go for Iron Head over Meteor Mash, but you can only use what's in front of you. I don't know if it's a is that a she or a he? I think it's a he. I think, I think he's a he, I believe. It's very hard. Right. Very hard to tell, but I think the grunt is a he. That's my impression. Beware. Beware is normal and fighting, so. We'll do another brave bird on it. Come on. 
Oh, wow. That did not do a lot. I think Star Apt is about to go down here. Oh, yeah. So, who would be there? Locked into Crash. I think Luxray to lower its attack for a start. Can't believe Star Raptor went down. That Great Bird did not do a lot of damage. Who did that? Whoa! That was, did that was really intimidate? Did he get intimidated? I'm sure I intimidated him. That still did a lot of damage. Wow. Where's my revives? Hyper potions. Not max, no. There'll probably be a heal before I get to the top of the hill. That's the way this. I could use a super there, and it'd have the same, almost the same effect. That's. I'll put the Sierra Grunts off screen. Nothing really intimidating. So. I feel like there's probably something down here. No? No? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess this is the only real way we can go. Let's see what's out here. More of this. Fantastic. Okay, then. So. Keep it on going. Like I say, I'm sure you don't want to fight and see me fight every single grunt. It's a thing I might have done earlier, in earlier episodes, but I'm not trying to actively do it as much. So, yeah, that's what we've got. Keep it on going. Oh, we've got something. I think we're ready. I hope we're ready. I'm not calling you mom. You don't get that right. The defense unit. Yeah, I pretty much cleaned them out. Do you really think I can't defeat the two of you at the same time? Do you really want to bet on that? Palazzo and Lapis. Garchomp and Luxray. So this is... I think I've got a pretty good strategy in mind. Get Garchomp under the ground so it can't get killed by Ice Beam. That's a solid strategy. Ice Beam or Dragon Pulse. I don't expect it to do much to Salazzle that, but it should do some decent damage to Lapras. Ooh. <laughs> That's a bit worrying that that Lapras is stronger now. That's Salazzle down. What's probably worth pointing out is if Luxray doesn't knock Lapras out here, Garchomp's probably going to die. Zoroark's not a problem. 
Come on. Come on. Yes. Danger averted. I think Sceptile might be, the, might be the bigger danger here. Screw it, let's hit it with Discharge. It's going to hit both targets anyway. That Sceptile is definitely a danger. So I'm going to say Discharge isn't going to affect Garchomp anyway. Might get a Paralysis on Zoroark. Might. The electric tap. <laughs> you don't want an electric type in this fight, that's not going to end well for you. Right, so. Go for Dragon Claw on Zoroark, let's go for Crunch on Sceptile. This, this should knock them both out. I think Zoroark's particularly tanky. Robot. What? Whoa! This is going to hurt a lot. Whoa. That was unfortunate. It's got a life orb on it. That's why. I'm going to send out now. Might have to be Star Raptor to deal with the uh, Sceptile. Cripple the Crobat. Get Star Raptor to flight to smash into Sceptile. Focus all attack all power on the Viker Bolt, because that's a really dangerous one here, probably. Four star out to do it with Brave Bird. Come on, knock it out! Looks like if it's uh, Eclipses, Viker Bolt's no longer an electric type. This should knock it, this is, yeah. That's the end of Star Raptor. Go for Greninja. This is yeah, this is the end. So what is this kid made out of? Well, you picked that fight, not me. Roger, Roger. Okay, let's go, Mom. I think I can do this. Have I been healed up? Looks like I have as well. On Pheasant. It's an Eclipse on Pheasant as well. Oh, dear. So, it's lowered its speed one stage. It's put it up two stages. So... I hope this isn't effective against Dragon. This is worrying. We should be okay. We 
should be okay. Yeah, this is yeah. This is the end of Unpleasant. I feel confident in stating that. My word, taking Garchomp out the firing line though, because she did get hit by that lunar eclipse. Paxorus. Hmm. See, Garchomp would probably be the best thing to fight it, but. Whoa, that looks sick! Oh! Super. Something super effective against it. It? Reckon it's the. Reckon it's the grass type or the poison type that's weak against the eclipse type. It's alright, Venusaur did some. did have, some, have an effect there. Go get him, Garchomp. We're faster. I can imagine Haxorus would be quite a good one to uh, get the Eclipse start off because it's only one. It's only mono type to start with, so getting a second type would be quite handy. Melodic. This is probably where Venusaur, mind you now, it's probably going to have Ice Beam anyway, so Venusaur wouldn't likely have been that useful, but looks Ray might be. Whoa! Oh, that is gorgeous. That is sweet. I'm going to spark. He's going to burn me into this spark, so sparks. I'm going to do a lot. I'm not going to do a lot. Anyway, it's got that quick or whatever it is. That... Oh, whoa, whoa! That did a lot of damage. And it's paralysed as well. We're going to win. Unless she heals. Please don't heal. Yeah, she's going to heal. And Forest Star, you... You will respect your mother. I'm not going to use the word that I wanted to use there, which is the cruel equivalent of the female doll. Bye bye. Heracrow. So Heracross. Go again, Star Raptor. Wow! Oh wow, I like its eyes, that is, whoa! <laughs> Neat, Brave Bird, we'll kill it. Mind you, it's not going to be four times weak against fi flying, is it? I just realised that. <laughs> oh, we're dead. This will knock it out. Eclipse, re Eclipse resists fire by the looks of it. I'm doomed. We're going to Lucario. Not into Lucario, into Greninja. Wow! I like its horns and all the white bits that are normally white. Sort of that glowy pink colour. Oh nuts. Oh nuts. Don't flinch me. I can't believe it outsped us. Unless that moves priority, but I don't know. Soul Rock. We'll keep Greninja out. We should outspeed a Soul Rock and wow, that looks neat. It looks a bit like Glalie. In terms of the way that its face is laid out, but oh wow, that looks that looks awesome. It's gonna survive. Nuts. We're dead. Only if it was that type was weak against the eclipse type. Oh, 
Go try and finish it. Some of these have looked brilliant, to be honest. They really did a good job designing these, like I said, I mean... Very good job. Yeah, you got beat. You got beat by your own son. What's inside the rock? Whoa! <laughs> that is a a Clactus. The angel. Of the He's freaking Giratina. It seems extremely pissed. I hope we're not about to go into the distortion world. Free no, I'm not that bothered really. My body's oh no, no. That's bleak for a Pokemon game. I know it's a ROM app, but still, whoa! He's dead! Oh my. Probably should revive my team because I have a feeling I'm gonna need him, really. <laughs> Giratina, it's borrowed almost shot for shot for what happens at the end of Platinum. It's a good job I did bring some potions, isn't it, really? Could have done that way, super. Yep. Welcome to the wonderful world of watching me heal everything that I need. Heal everything before I go off and fight something nasty. I think we're ready, come on! A little to see. Level 60. Whoa! Trainer, this is gonna hurt. Wow, 
Well, the fact that he's just taken Garchomp down that easily is not been uh, sort of worrying. Let's try and get a Leech Seed on it. Yeah, we're not getting a Leech Seed off on it. Yeah, this is worrying. Very worrying. Oh, but it's alright, we did some Rocky Helmet damage to it. Going to Greninja. Get an icy wind off to try and slow it down. That didn't do much, but more for the effect. This is probably going to take Greninja straight out. This is going really, really well. I've got this. Going to look right. I just want this to boil down to a final fight between Lucario and Eclatus, aren't I? Oh, electricity super effective again. Oh, we paralyzed it! We might have this. Come on, Luca look, Lucario. Looks ready, you can survive this. You did. It was another discharge. It's probably not going to be able to heal. Come on. Star up to Brave Bird it. Watch it resist flying. He did. Oh crap. Not good. Not good. <laughs> good. Very good. Return. Was it part steel? To go for a close combat to try and finish it, that'd tell me how if it's part steel or not. No? <laughs> I like that. And they all live happily ever after. I think we've done it. I think that's the end. It's the end of the story anyway. That's quite a good team altogether, Cole. Sixty-six hours, forty-five minutes. Something's going to happen. Too much for the character, the I read that sarcastic moan when he did drop that when he did go down, but at the same time, that quite touching, you know, at least he gets reunited with his family, that kind of thing. Oh dear. I'm gonna say I'm presuming some post game, we might do the post game or we might call it the session there and then, but see how uh 
see how I feel. I enjoyed it to be honest. I mean, uh, quite unique. I mean, I like that. Well, I say I like the idea of not having gyms. That was something that got what we've seen before in Gen Gen Seven in Alola. So it does happen before. It's not a unique thing. But the idea of a tournament was uh, pretty cool. So the way it was executed. So yeah. It's my first. I've played a bit of Fire Red Omega. It's my first experience with a whole new ROM hack that's not based on a game that I've played previously. So it's my first experience. It's not a bad one. Like I said, I've enjoyed it. It's been different. I've learned quite a bit as we've made it. So there is that. VSO. A lot and it's going to be standing me in good stead going forward for any more let's play though because I do like playing Pokemon you know it's uh, one of my things it's still a good series after all this time carry on doing uh, ROM hacks I don't know what I'll do next plenty of options this way. Watch this just bear with me a moment. Oh look at that, it ended very suddenly. Just like that. Let's see what just let's see if anything happens when we load the game back up. Micah. <laughs> We're gonna hunt you for fun. I'm going to call it a session here then so like I say we'll probably have a look a bit at the post game at some point I can thank you for joining me especially you stuck through this time a couple of the earlier videos were a bit the sound quality was questionable due to the microphone issue that I didn't realise until much much later so I hope you have enjoyed it like I said if you have don't forget to like comment subscribe all that stuff and I guess really what will happen is I will see you next time. As I, say, I don't think we're done with Hoopest just quite yet, but yeah, we'll carry on. We'll see where it goes. And yeah, this has been Once a Future Gamer. Thank you so much for joining me. And I guess I will see you in the future. Take care now. Bye bye. Have a great day. Ta ra.